Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my nails. I'm going to do a fall set using the gel egg stoop method and these extra long square nails. I am going to show you guys every step, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push back my cuticles. Alright, so now I'm going to use my Melody Susie Scarlet Drill and my 180 grit sanding band and I'm going to lightly remove the shine off of my nails. Alright, so now I'm going to come in with this Panna cuticle bit. I'm not sure the exact name, but I will have it linked down below. I have it at about like 4,000 RPMs and I do put it in a reverse. I just feel like it works a lot better. Alright, so now I'm going to size the nails. These are the extra long square full cover nails. I got these off of AliExpress, so I will have them linked down below. Alright, so now that I have all my sizes, I'm going to remove the shine off of the back side of the nail. And also, some of them do fit me a little big, so I am going to shape them up a bit. And to remove the shine, I'm just using my 180 grit sanding band. For the pinky, since the sanding band is a little bit too big, I'm going to use this cuticle bit. So the nails for the ring finger and the pinky fit me a little bit too big. So I'm going to take my Panna 100 grit nail file and I'm going to file the sidewalls a bit just so that it fits better. I'm going to take this little alcohol pad and I'm going to clean off my nails. Okay, so now I'm going to dehydrate my nails using the JC Beauty Concepts Nail Dehydrator. I technically already dehydrated with the alcohol, but I like to be extra sure. Um, so I'm just going to be applying one coat of this onto all of my nails. Now I'm going to be applying two coats of the Not Polish Triple X Bond Primer. Okay, so now I'm going to glue on the nails. So I'm going to use the Model 1's little lamp and the Model 1 6-in-1 nail glue. These both did come in a kit, so I will have a link down below for you guys. Okay, so what I do is I apply a little bit on the actual nail bed. And then I apply some onto the nail. And then by the cuticle area, I do just put some more. And I start from the back and then I just push it down. Okay, so since these nails have like a higher apex, I will have to apply a little bit more gel. That way it fills in the little gap since my nail bits are pretty flat.
Okay, so for the thumb, since it's very flat, I am applying a layer of the 6-in-1, and then I'm going to cure that in the lamp for about 60 seconds, and then I'm going to apply some more, and then also onto the nail, and then I'm going to put it on and then cure it. Now I'm going to cure this in my big lamp for 60 seconds. Alright, so now that the nails are out of the lamp, I'm going to go in with this Pano 5-in-1 fine grit bit. And I'm going to go around the cuticle area just to seal that in and also get rid of any gel that got on there. Alright, so now I'm going to take a nail buffer and I'm going to remove the shine off of the nails. I should have done this before I buffed, but I'm gonna go in with my nail file and just file mainly just the tip and a little bit underneath because the nails kind of go down and I don't like that. Um, so I'm gonna try to fix that. This now is really crooked. <laughs> Alright, so this is the best I could do with the thumb. It looks more like a coffin now, but you know what? Who cares? So yeah, be careful when applying your nails. Make sure that they are on straight because it's kind of hard to fix. Alright, so now that the nails are all nice and filed, I'm going to take another alcohol pad and just take off any dust. Alright, so I'm going to take the Model 1 6 and one again, and I'm going to apply this onto all of the nails. I'm going to use this as a base coat. I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. Alright, so now I'm going to apply the Mamita gel polish. I think this is Nude 6, I believe. And I'm going to apply this onto my ring finger, my middle finger, and my thumb.
so i ended up doing a third coat off camera so now i'm going to use the mccart gel polish and chocolate and i'm actually going to create an ombre i'm going to show you guys how i do my ombres with gel okay so what i do is i apply some gel onto about like a third of the nail Now I'm going to use this ombre brush, this one is by Nails by Dev. Okay, so what I do is I put my brush like flat to the nail and then I lightly feather the gel polish upwards. And then once I do that, I pat the gel polish like where I feathered it just so that there's like no lines or streaks or anything like that. Alright, so now I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, so now I'm applying my second coat, and I'm basically gonna do the exact same thing I did with my first coat. I'm just going to feather the polish upwards and then pat it out so that there's no like streaks or anything like that. And then I'll cure it in the lamp again for 30 seconds. Alright, so I'm going to take the same nude color that I used earlier and I am going to apply it up to like here. Now I'm going to take my brush again and I'm going to lightly feather it downwards and pat it out. I am using very light pressure when doing this, that way I don't create any like streaks or anything like that you just want to make sure that you use very light pressure that way everything looks very blended out after doing this i will cure it in the lamp again for 30 seconds so now i'm going to apply the second coat For my third and final coat, I'm going to apply a little bit less of the polish. I'm not going to bring it down all the way like the other coats. Um, and then I'm just going to pat it and swipe. But yeah, that's how I do my gel ombres. I really hope that this was helpful. Um, again, this is just how I do it. I know there's a lot of different methods on how to do gel ombres, but this is just what works for me. Okay, so for my middle finger, I want to do something like this flower design um, by Nailed by Cleo. And for my ring finger, I'm going to do this plaid design. This one is by Cheyenne Nails. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the plaid design. And I'm going to be using the Beatles White Gel Polish, the McCart Gel Polish in Chocolate, the Not Polished Painting Gel in number 4, and the Beatles Glitter Gel Polish in 584. And I'm going to be using the Nails by Dev Hella Cute Liner Brush. And to clean up any mistakes, I'm using 100% Acetone and this Poly Gel Brush that came in a Beatles Poly Gel Kit.
For the flower design, I'm going to be using the AWSM color gel polish in number one and the Macar gel polish in chocolate. And I will be curing in between each color that way the colors don't run into each other and it doesn't turn into like a big blob. Okay, so for the little leaves, I'm actually going to use the Beatles gel polish in 300. Alright, so for the thumb, I'm going to use these Swarovski crystals. These are in golden shadow. To glue it on, I'm going to use the Beatles Nail Rhinestone Gel. Okay, so now I'm going to be applying a coat of the 6-in-1. I'm just going to apply this onto all of my nails except for the thumb. That way it just moves out the nails and there's like no like bumps or anything like that. Um, especially on the ombre nails since when using that one brush it kind of like creates little bumps so this just moves out the nail and then once i apply the matte top coat it's just really smooth and there's like no bumps or anything like that i'm going to cure this for 60 seconds okay so now i'm going to use the beetles matte top coat I'm going to apply this onto all of the nails. Now I'm going to cure for 90 seconds. Alright guys, so here's the final result. I think the nails turned out super pretty. I really, really love them. Um, let me know what you guys think about the nails in the comments. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next one.